Unfortunately, I am back to announce a tragedy. So here I am, back into the game. I'm back at my old house. Oh dear, hang on. I have a um, invert mouse problem where I need it to be inverted for me to be able to work. Simply because that's the way I first played Minecraft and now I can't play it the other way. So yes, here I am back at my house. Now you may recall that I have set myself up in my new location. I was building a lovely house. I haven't died since I first respawned and, and started recording this series and unfortunately I died. Um, so I have now respawned back here. I have no idea where my house is, uh, my new location is. I've left myself nothing useful because I took it all to the new location. However, um, I did have enough iron in this box over here to make myself some tools. So I'll just very quickly explain what happened to me while I anxiously go and get back in a boat. I was um, happily making my house and I ran out of sandstone. Oh, hello, doggy. Did you come with me? You must have come with me. Okay, so I was ran out of sandstone and thought, I will just go back to the sand island and get some more. Then I thought, oh, I don't really want to go sailing out there. I just need to at least block off a couple more things. I know. I'll just dig the sand from the water, which surrounded me, because there was a whole bunch of sand sur surrounding me in my new location. I, whoa, oh no, don't go away. Right. I, um, so I did that. I started digging the sand and everything was going well. And then I just sort of vagued out in my sand meditation and forgot that I was underwater and I drowned. So suddenly I was back in that house and I had drowned. And I have five minutes to find where I was to reclaim everything. So I've lost my diamond sword, I've lost my diamond pick, I've lost my bow and all those arrows I got from skeletons. Everything else was pretty much replaceable. But those things I really wanted to rush back and get. And of course there was the sandstone I had already made and the uh, stone I had already made. Again, I've just brought a bunch of cobble with me this time. I can remake it. It's a bit of a waste of more fuel. Uh, coal. So... Sand Island is somewhere over here, maybe? It's that. Circle. No, that's my... I've just gone in a circle. Thank you, Quinn. I have indeed just gone in a circle. So I ran outside, chopped down the nearest tree, because I had, of course, nothing, having died. Made myself a crafting bench just so that I could make myself another boat, because it was the only chance I was going to get to make it back to my original location within the five minutes to reclaim my stuff. And so all I had was a boat and a crafting table and some bits of wood. And looking for that sand island, so uh, hopefully someone with better sense of direction than me, i.e. my son, might know where it is. I'm about to go around again, so it's got to be somewhere. I thought it was that way. This way? Let's try this way. Uh, yeah. Okay, yes, there it is. Oh, well done, Quinn. See, I really needed Quinn last night when this tragedy befell me. So I managed to get past the sand island and in this one case while it's still daylight I'm going to collect a bunch of sand fill up the rest of my inventory with sand so I don't die in the same tragic death I just died and hopefully I'm not going to crash my boat I'm going to just moor it gently into this corner because the five minutes is long since run out I can't get that other stuff back um, and I got past the sand island because I remembered that it was sort of north past the sand island hello doggy um, teleported to it teleported to me. I wish I could just teleport to my other dogs. That would really help, but I can't do that. Um, anyway, so as I just collect sand and tell you my tale of woe, I um, got to the land, and I knew it was the right land because there was snow and then forest, and that's pretty much where somewhere near where my house is located, and darkness was starting to fall. And unfortunately, I had nothing, a crafting bench and a boat. So I ran onto the land and started running across in the direction I was pretty sure my land was in. I probably had about two minutes left now to collect my stuff. And, of course, without any weapons, any armour, any protection of any sort, I died again. And so that was just me respawning again, back in my home. And as I say, I just happened to have some iron left over there. I wasn't going to suffer the same indignant death that I did completely empty-handed with just some sticks and uh, and a boat and a crafting table on me so I made myself a quick stash of iron tools while it's daylight I'm going to get myself the sand I know I need 
um, oh sorry doggy but you know please don't run in the way of my shovel and I'm just going to fill up as much of my inventory with sand so I don't have to go and get it the other way again and then now the problem is the last two times I've found actually managed to found, find my home I have had a map and now I don't have a map um, guys you're providing quite a lot of background noise there so either be in the video or don't be in the video but you can't be talking about what are you playing in there game what are you playing RuneScape Age of Empires so there you go Age of Empires going on in the other room um, but that particular room doesn't have a screen cam so oh dear it's getting dark it's getting dark I'm just going to see how much more of this I can collect I have at least got a sword should I run the risk of uh, imminent death which I, I'm afraid likelihood is I will be running the risk of imminent death. The other thing, of course, that I lost, which is replaceable but annoying because, of course, I had and now I don't have. What are you doing, dog? Um, is torches. I had, you know, 64 torches on me. I now have no torches on me. So let's see how, how, much, how much have I got. I've got one, two, three, four stacks of sand. That's not quite as much as I was hoping for five stacks of sand so if I can just fill up this last stack before I leave the island um, then that might oh okay I've run out of shovel and it's getting pretty dark how am I going whoa three and a half stacks of sand I thought I had four stacks of sand three and a half stacks of sand hey oh I'm stuck um, oh look and there's already a zombie out so I also have no levels anymore and I had about maybe nine or ten levels at that time too so I'll just quickly race around, collect these sands that I've already blasted. I have to do a bit of fist sand here because I have not got time to get myself a... Oh dear. Oh no. I have no armour so hopefully I'm going to collect a few more arrows. And I am hoping, I was saying only the other day to Quinn, that I've gotten to the stage in this game now where there's maybe not so much left for me to put into videos because... The whole reason I was making this in the first place was um, to sort of show how I managed to survive the unfortunate land of water. But I've now found myself some land that is not just water. So it's possibly time for the adventure to, um, to change, except that I've now got this new tragedy. And I'm not quite willing to stop this quest until my house is safely built and... I've seen chickens because that is the one thing I haven't seen which means I haven't made any cakes I haven't done anything with chicken eggs uh, if I should find a dungeon I'm not going to be able to make cookies or well, cookies might just be wheat and yeah. cocoa so I might be able to make cookies but the chickens the lack of chickens is the one thing I think is missing from this as a sort of complete adventure because as we all who play Minecraft know Minecraft can go forever. You can be playing Minecraft forever because the world is infinite and if you keep traveling there'll just be more stuff. And I kind of like where I the, the location I've set up or set myself up in. If I can build a really nice house there this time, an actual designy interesting house, um, I'll probably be pretty happy with that and maybe start something completely different uh, in terms of a video series. So as I say, my main aim is chickens, uh, baking, uh, getting some more arrows of my own accord rather than just killing skeletons for them. Not that there's anything wrong with killing skeletons for arrows. It's certainly one way to get arrows. I've got four now and I think I had 31 at last count before I died my horrible death. And of course I now have the challenge of working out where the hell that other home of mine is without any kind of a map. So anyway, from memory, it's north of this clump of sand islands. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to keep traveling because I do think land is not too far away. I'm hoping I'm heading in the right direction, but it's a bit hard to tell. I have got sand. That's what I've got, sand. Um, and I have got something to, with which to try and fight the, the evil ones when they come. Um, interesting thing with that mushroom place that I showed you earlier when I ended up in the mushroom biome is I can't actually remember where that was on the map so I might have to re-watch that video and see if I 
did actually look at the map at some point while I was there. Um, oh, I'm hearing that someone does know where it is and let's hope they were right. Now if I'm heading in the opposite direction to my house, because if from the Sand Island, Island, if I had... Ah! Land ahoy! Okay, so land is here. So if I skirt to the left of the land, keep following the left of the land a bit, I should eventually see the, where the snow biome meets this sort of land. And from there, my home is not too far to the left. So this is what I'm hoping is going to happen. I'm going to be really upset if this land just turns out to be my old house, which it could be if I've got... Oh, oh, it is. Okay. Bottom. Okay, I'm going to need some help from someone with a sense of direction. Um, Quinn, yeah. help me. Okay. okay, so. Fair enough. Now, I've got to find the sand island again. Oh, God. I think it's that. My house way. is just to the right there. Wait, let's see what part of it. There's my house just drifting off um, into the distance. So, the sand. There's the sand there. island. Yeah. So. What I need to do is head straight this way, just straight, right? And a bit to that way. A bit to the right. And not hit a squid. squids because they might break my boat. And Although I did hit a, you know what I hit, kept hitting um, when I was desperately trying to get back last time in a hurry, I kept hitting the lily pads, um, which oh. was also really bad. I have to say, I'm glad I didn't make the video immediately when I died because um, in terms of it being a mum meets Minecraft, it was a little bit, um, how you say, well, if anyone's ever yeah, watched Tabascus, Toby Games, play Minecraft, when something goes wrong, he frequently says balls. And that was certainly the very least of what I was going to say at that particular time. So it's probably lucky that I waited to... To this second respawn where there's no chance of me getting that stuff and I've had to deal with it and I've gone to sleep since so oh, I really hope I'm going the right way so you can see how I've been on here easily for five minutes um, that first time round the chance of me getting my stuff before it despawned was um, pretty rare as I say I really the only things I regret are the diamond sword the diamond pickaxe and the bow, the, um, bow and arrow I think I probably lost a compass too, but they're easy enough to make because I have got a lot of redstone. I'm not feeling very positive about this. I feel like I'm going into nowhere. But as we know from this whole series, there's a lot of the sense of going into nowhere. Okay, yeah, what there got, it is. There it is. There's the Cow Island, what I, what I originally called Cow Island. So if I skirt to the left, right. keep the island on the left, and watch out for lily pads. Somewhere around here. Ah, lily. Ah! Dab nabbit. Bloody lily pads. I'm going to have to go to land to make to, to make a new boat. So I might stay in the ocean um, because I really don't want to be killed again on my way because then I'll get back once again to spawn and have to do this whole thing all over again. Only I will have lost my iron. Exactly. Well, well spotted there, Quinn. So, yes, not the most uh, entertaining of things to watch, me bobbing around. Gives you a really good sense of what it was like right back at the very, very beginning when I was just bobbing around. Um, I can see the sun coming up. This is all good. I'm waiting for various creatures to catch fire and let me know that it's going to be safe to come back onto land. Uh, I don't have a map, so I'm not really sure where this land is. Uh in the grand scheme of things on that sort of clump of islands that I'm now living on or hope to be living on might just have to make myself a bed now that I've at least collected all of this other stuff Quinn yeah. when you make a compass does it point to the the original spawn point yes. right so if I make a compass I'll still be able to find that other original spawn point island should I want to which at the moment I almost never ever want to see it again due to it having been the scene of my extreme anxiety um, but look there's the beautiful sunrise over a swamp there's lily pads there's creepers it's all uh, ah see somewhere around here is one of the places I died because I was digging for clay for some reason I thought that might be a good idea oh there's a creeper in the water don't come over here creeper 
I can hear it. Don't don't come over here. Ah! It's 